Hi, I'm Mikkel Jensen, and I'm a graduate student at the Department of Mechanical Engineering here at the Technical University of Denmark. Today I'm going to talk about how to achieve low-cost access to space. And the way to do that is to use solar power. So the concept I'm going to talk about is the solar booster rocket. And what it changes from current generation of rocket engines is that it does not get its energy from chemicals. Because current rocket engines use uh, an oxidizer and a propellant to combine the two and then extract the heat of the chemical reaction to produce thrust. Now, this has been the way it's been done for the last 50 years. And the performance of these rockets has literally remained unchanged. So one way we could actually increase the performance of these rockets is to get our energy from a different source. Now, you could use nuclear or other sources, but this concept focusing on using solar power. Now, how does this concept work? Well, if, we, if we look at the sketch here, um, we have the solar booster rocket here, which takes off as a normal airplane, and then it flies into the atmosphere, and then the solar rays are reflected by a lot of mirrors on the ground here. So these mirrors are actually mirrors from current uh, solar power stations that's actually in use now. So the solar rays hit the mirrors and the mirrors reflect the sunlight back up onto the rocket here. And the rocket has a heat exchanger at the bottom. So the heat exchanger becomes very, very hot. And then you let the propellant flow into the heat exchanger and thereby extracting the energy from the solar rays. And this concept actually has a lot better performance than currently operational chemical rocket engines because you can extract a lot more energy depending on how many mirrors you use on the ground. So if we look at the simulations that I've done, here we see uh, the x-axis is the altitude of the rocket and the y-axis is the exhaust velocity, so basically the performance of the rocket. And now the dashed uh, black line here represents the best performing chemical rocket engine. And the, the other graphs here represent how much performance you can get out of the solar booster rocket depending on how big of an energy source you have. Now the, the blue line here represents the largest solar plant that's currently in operation. And the purple line here represents uh, a plant that would have the same capacity as the Three Gorges Dam in China, which is currently the largest operational uh, power plant in the world. So you can see if we actually get access to a power plant, a solar power plant that's large enough, we can outperform current chemical rocket engines up to altitudes of 250 kilometers. Now, you can actually achieve orbit around 200 kilometers. So you only need around an 8,000 type megawatt power plant to achieve uh, low cost access to space using solar power. And the implication this has is that you can launch something into space a lot of times, like now, uh, payloads are launched maybe once or twice a month, but this system can launch maybe 10 to 20 payloads a day. So you get a huge infrastructure of launching something into space, which can create uh, exploration projects at previously unseen scales, which could, which could inspire new generations of scientists and engineers. Thank you for watching.